Primetime Live joined the local enterprise authority, LEA, and the International Trade Center, ITC, as they announced the launch of the 2019 Botswana Small and Medium-Sized Enterprise SME Competitiveness Report. The report, which analyzes data from a survey of hundreds of companies in Botswana to shed light in SME strengths and weaknesses in the country, is a result of the collaboration between the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry, the Local Enterprise Authority and the International Trade Center. With us knowing that small and medium-sized enterprise are at the heart of the country's economy as Botswana, today we get to join Local Enterprise Authority together with International Trade Center for the launch of SME's Enterprises Competitiveness Report. Although small and medium-sized enterprises are at the heart of the economy of Botswana and represent an important share of all businesses and generate approximately a third of the gross domestic product, they continue to face challenges that somehow leave them at the bottom of the broader business ecosystem. Allow me to recognize that the government of Botswana has over the years put in place various SME funding schemes to support citizens to venture into businesses. Whilst this is commendable, research revealed that amongst other challenges impeding SME competitiveness is lack of financial support. Therefore, the funding challenge relates more to the appropriateness of the funding model and structure suitable for different business types and sectors. Mostly, it is the medium to large entities that are able to acquire funding whilst the micros and other lower level SMEs are considered risky and mostly their proposals are not immediately bankable as they often require considerable time to create sustainable market strength. To facilitate the collection of data, a sample of companies was randomly selected from across the country. The report disseminates the results in the hopes of triggering a dialogue on SME competitiveness and finding policy-based solutions that the government can implement to support the small companies at the heart of the Botswana economy. In the specific context of Botswana, the country has made remarkable success in growing the economy, securing good governance and improving well-being and is a model worth illuminating and I think the results of the exercise that has been undertaken will speak to this. However, it is also very clear that if we have to meet Vision 2030, which underscores the need for further strengthening of the private sector to generate more jobs and diversify the economy to become a knowledge-based high-income country in the decades to come, we have to do more. Just like the two stakeholders that are also involved in the sealing up of this report, Ministry of Investment and Trade and Industry has a vision to build SME competitiveness so they can access more local, regional and international markets. Government recognizes the role of SMEs as catalyst to develop enterprise, to alleviate poverty, to create jobs and to develop the economy. The SMEs play a very critical role in the livelihood of ordinary citizens because they access communities where most large enterprises are unable to start their businesses or where they find it economically not viable to establish their businesses. With the right intervention and support, SMEs have the potential to serve as the springboard for large enterprises. Research, therefore, becomes imperative in providing feedback on the kind of support and interventions that are needed by the SME to flourish. Several key messages, as well as solutions to avert some of the challenges associated with the rising of SMEs, are well articulated in this report. The messages include, to mention but a few, the realization that Botswana companies hold low rates of certification to international standards. Botswana SMEs play a crucial role in greening the country's economy. Services companies in Botswana excel at mobilizing skills for innovation. Youth-led companies trail other enterprises in management practices. This concept of competitiveness, as you can see, is based on the competitiveness grid. 
So um, we uh, highlight, uh, we analyze the strengths and weaknesses of companies and uh, of their business ecosystem across different pillars. So we want to see if firms are able to compete today. So it's the static dimension of competitiveness. We want to see if they meet quantity, time, and quality requirements. We want to also see if they're able to change over time. So we want to see if they have access to finance skills and if they innovate to remain competitive over time. And to both compete and change, companies need to connect to their business ecosystem. Competitiveness varies across the regions of the country. Uh, in fact, when we looked at the level of competitiveness in different regions and we compared it to the, to the road map, uh, there was a, an exact matchup. So the differences in infrastructure across the country connect to the differences in competitiveness. And that is going to be the case as well when you look at connecting services companies to the country and the world. Uh, in the same regard, um, the business ecosystem is very important to competitiveness, so making sure that the skills are available in all the regions and all the sectors will help services company build on the, their strengths and uh, access services value chains. A panel discussion in relation to the issues of promoting SME competitiveness in Botswana was held. Amongst other issues addressed were how policies can be framed and put in place to enhance SME growth, some of the interventions that policymakers, as well as trade and investment support institutions, can come up with policies to better cater to SME needs and even promote an export culture. One of the interventions that was a way of promoting the export culture was through development of what we called a BEDP, export course. And we developed the modules. Module one was introduction to exporting. Number two, it was planning for exporting. Number three, it was succeeding for exporting. I thank Leia again because these days they are just handing us with BITC. Whatever we are doing with our members, they are really, really assisting in terms of uh, standards, the quality, the branding, everything. They are really there with Business Botswana. We are marching together to achieve what we want to achieve. If we can try to get people to understand that cooperatives yield more than when I work alone, um, if I have something that I can um, give out the, to my group, we can actually more, make more um, progress and get more, much more understanding and much more help as a group than an individual. I think it will, it will benefit us mostly as, as young uh, Batwana in business. Government has come up with a, a number of initiatives. One of them is the formation of clusters. And these are supposed to make a transaction cost lower by grouping farmers who produce similar products into one area for them to share certain services and hence make it uh, easier for them to reduce their cost. The other take home for me today is the three pillars of the survey. The fact that they were assessing capacity to, co to compete. We know that, and this is what we encourage our SMEs, that you know, in order to be competitive, you need to be in a niche area. You need to be in a business that has high barriers to entry. You need to be innovative. So to me, if that was a criterion for doing the survey, we're a step in the right direction. A few are the ones who are doing the survey. Um, what are some of the measures that were taken to actually get to uh, compile and come up with this uh, survey? We had approached the government, of course, and government having agreed, then identified Leah, who were our partners in doing this survey. And I must say they've done an extremely good job. What we have done from that is to work together to analyze the data that we have collected from 616 entities spread across the country, different sizes. Of course, we had to bring in the bigger companies into perspective to be sure that we are making a plausible comparison point. We hope that out of this, in order to address this issue of finance, for example, we need to look into what sort of infrastructural development that would serve as a seed capital that can bring them to a level where they can become bankable. I think that's the key thing because if we can do that, we are going to exclude a lot of them. 
and majority of our SMEs, as I mentioned, women and youth, they fall within that category. They are not in a position where they can be funded and therefore somebody has to take the responsibility and support them. The SME report could be used by policymakers in Botswana to design stronger policies to boost small firms, trade and investment support institutions, to improve membership services and better cater to SME needs, to see how they measure up on important measures of international competitiveness. Prime time life.